everyone, I'm back with the second video for my new uh, channel about how I'm losing weight and just some different tips and things that I've been using that hopefully will be helpful to you and hopefully I can encourage you if you're having a problem with uh, feeling discouraged or hopeless about this whole weight loss thing, hopefully I can be an encouragement to you and hopefully in the process encourage myself to continue going. So I just wanted to give you a couple of um, ideas here of what I have been eating for lunch kind of frequently, not every day, but maybe two or three times a week. And it's a good, I'm on Weight Watchers and so we count points for every food. And if you want to have questions about that, just leave me a comment and I'll explain how Weight Watchers works. It's not complicated. Um, this is a low points meal, which means it's also a low, let's say low calorie, kind of a mid carb, um, higher protein, not high protein, but higher protein than eating a lot of carbohydrates lunch uh, and pretty low in fat. So I'll just spin the camera around and show you what I eat for lunch, um, what I ate today, and we'll go from there. All right, so this is pretty much what I ate today. Um, we have Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh Mesquite Turkey Breast. That is a very thin sliced lunch meat. It is five slices, no, I'm kidding. Six slices is one point and that's really low. Um, here's the stats, you probably can't see them, sorry. You'll be able to see it better once I get my new camera. Let's try zooming. No, that didn't work either. <laughs> All right, we'll just rate out here. It's uh, 50 calories for six slices, one gram of fat, um, two carbohydrates, and eight protein. And if you're counting sodium for any reason, it's 440 milligrams of sodium, which is kinda high, uh, but I'm not really worried about that right now. Um, that might be in the future. So that's my lunch meat and my cheese. This is called Cabot cheese, that's the brand. These are slices, um, as you can see, it's 50% reduced fat cheddar cheese. It's really, um, it's a really good tasting cheese. It doesn't taste like rubber or anything like some of those low fat cheeses will. Uh, it's made with one and a half percent milk. It's reduced from nine grams of fat to four and a half per slice. And uh, I'll, I'll just open it so you guys can see it. This is how it comes. It's not individually wrapped. You just pull one of those pieces of paper and it pulls your piece of cheese apart. But it's kind of a thick slice of cheese. It's not a little thin, wimpy cheese. You know, I don't know if you guys can can tell. It's a little thicker. Um, so it's a good sturdy cheese. I like that. So one slice of that is two points. I'll read you the stats on the back, and it is one slice is 70 calories, four and a half grams of fat, one carb, eight protein, and 170 in sodium. I just used a little yellow mustard, which is zero points. You can eat the whole container if you want. This is the bread I've been using. It's nature's own wheat, and it's the light one, so it is only 35 calories per slice. Three times the fiber. 20% um, less sodium. Let's see. Oh, I covered up my fats. Sorry. This is one point per slice. All right. The stats are um, one slice. No, they give you the serving size as three slices, which I never eat. Um, one gram of fat, uh, 35 well, it's 110 calories for three pieces, one gram of fat, 26 carbohydrates, and six grams of protein, seven grams of fiber. And that's in three slices, so I only eat two, which is two points. And then these are my chips. There's 14 chips there. Those are tortilla chips. And I'm using the, eating the Utz Baked brand. They're really good. They don't taste like cardboard. They're tasty. I like them. Uh, that little portion right there, it's not little, but that portion there is 14 chips and it's three points. And the stats are 120 calories, two grams of fat, one gram of fiber, two grams of protein, 23 carbohydrates, and 105 for sodium if you're counting up. So let's go back and all together for my chips. It's three, four, five, nothing, um, six, seven, and eight. So it's an eight point sandwich and chips, which I like. That's pretty low. And then salsa, I just use Tostitos because I like that, um, is zero gram, zero points because, you know, there's hardly anything in it, but it's just all vegetables and all vegetables on Weight Watchers is zero. 
So the nutrition on this for two tablespoons, in case you're counting calories or something, is 10 calories, zero fat, um, 250 sodium, two carbohydrates, less than one gram of fiber, and zero protein. And that's for two tablespoons of that. Make sure you're not getting a, a salsa that has added fat to it, which is ridiculous and unnecessary anyway. And then I usually will eat a piece of fruit. So today we're going to do a banana, which is zero points. I love that. And my um, Dannon Light and Fit yogurt. This is the raspberry flavor. And this is two points. So right now we're up to 10 points for lunch, which is not a lot. I know it sounds like a lot, but it really isn't because I get 38 points per day. And sorry, I'm looking for the stats on this and it's not there because this was one of those super saver packs where it, it came all together. So I can't read you the stats on that. I'm really sorry. But anyways, that's a good 10 point lunch there and I will be full till dinner. So that's uh, a plus. That's what you want. So uh, hopefully that was helpful to give you a little idea of what you can eat for lunch. Like again, I said that's low calorie kind of um, low fat, basically. Uh, not a lot of carbohydrates. Pretty good portion of protein there. Um, so the fiber and the protein will help you stay full longer. And the fruit, of course, that helps you stay full a little longer. So just an idea. If you have any questions or if you want to tell me to tell you like any other things that I've been eating for lunch that I've found that have been good low point ideas but also have been keeping me full and satisfied and making me not feel like I'm starving to death or anything, uh, more than willing to do that. Just let me know in the comments below and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for stopping by and let me know what you'd like to see on this new channel. Um, you know, just whatever. It's for you. It's to encourage you and to help us both together on this journey. So have a good day.